In this video, we will uh, talk about a typical uh, process flow of a uh, Nipir grass based uh, uh, CBG plant. <coughs> Primarily, uh, Nipir is harvested in the uh, grass fields using the mechanized uh, harvesters. Uh, the harvesters could either be a tractor mounted harvester or a self propelled one. The grass that is harvested is typically chopped into uh, pieces uh, which measure about uh, 25 to 40 mm or 50 mm in a particular range. This grass is transported on the back of a trolley to the premises of the CBG plant. <coughs> Initially, this uh, feedstock that comes into these trolleys is weighed on a weigh bridge and it, it is transferred to what we call as a feed shed for the crushing or occasionally it is moved to a storage area which could either be a silage bunker or a silage uh, baling uh, area. At the time when it is moved to a feed shed, the objective is to crush this uh, grass into a um, fine paste kind of a consistency as you are able to observe the grass is mixed along with the liquid coming either through the fresh water line or the slurry line and it is transferred to what we call as the pre digesters or pre treatment tanks. <coughs> This pre-treatment tanks are necessary from a process perspective for primarily two reasons. In these pre-treatment tanks, we ensure that the grass and the water uh, mixture is treated with enzymes so that the sugars are released. Second, we ensure that there is a homogeneity achieved when the water and the grass or the uh, recirculated slurry is mixed with the grass. This pretreatment process is carried out typically for a duration of about uh, 70 to 290 hours. That's the primary reason why we deploy four such pre-digester tanks. These are typically concrete uh, structures. And once it goes through these uh, pretreatment cycles, the slurry is spread through a piping mechanism to the bottom of the first digester. Once the slurry enters to the digester, it goes through a process of uh, uh, gas generation. It's a four phase uh, process, hydrolysis, acidogenesis, acetogenesis and methanogenesis. Once the raw material goes through this kind of a phased uh, process, the gas is generated and accumulated at the top of the digester, <coughs> what we call as the balloon or the dome. The gas that is thus generated and accumulated at the top is moved through a gas line for further processing. The lines in blue, what we observe, are essentially meant for the movement of the gas from the top of the digester to further processing. In case of plants which we are designing for a higher capacity, uh, for example, 5 tons per day or 6 tons per day, we typically deploy two digesters. In case we are working on a case where we are targeting a 3 ton, 2.5 ton kind of a production, we deploy a single digester. The gas generation happens in both the digesters. And in, play, in case where the digester is, uh, uh, when there are two digesters built, the material transfer or the slurry transfer happens sequentially. That is, from the pre-digesters, the slurry enters the digester 1 and it overflows to the digester 2. Thus, what happens? The gas generation happens in both the digesters and the accumulation happens in the both of the balloons or the dome and that is the reason why we have collection uh, mechanisms uh, through this gas lines. The raw biogas that is thus generated is pushed through a blower mechanism to a purification system. 
what happens in a purification system is other than methane carbon dioxide sulf hydrogen sulfide and moisture are to be removed methane is the combustible gas which we need for uh, fueling it to the vehicles thus the other components of carbon dioxide hydrogen sulfide and moisture are to be removed this scrubbing tower does the remove does the act of removal of uh, hydrogen sulfide following which there is a blower mechanisms where the gas goes through a gd unit gas drying unit essentially it's a dehumidifier which removes the moisture from the gas these two processes of removal of hydrogen sulfide and gas drying which is the removal of moisture are very critical because the gas that is for that is going to get further processed in this bpsa vessels should be free of hydrogen sulfide and moisture in case they are not purified or removed to the required extent there is a chance of contamination of the chemicals which are deployed here to remove the carbon dioxide so the effectiveness of the scrubbing tower and the gd unit which is the moisture removal will ensure a longer life of the chemicals within the vpsa tower these chemicals ensure the separation of co2 from the final product the purified gas that is thus that is thus generated is collected in what we call as a surge vessel this surge vessel acts as a buffer between the vpsa which is the purification unit and the further part which is the compression unit we could also augment the capacity of the surge vessel by adding an adder, additional balloon which could either be a ground mounted balloon or a gas uh, uh, capsule balloon it is very important we also deploy a gas analyzer which essentially tells us the purity of methane this gas analyzer tells the composition of all the gas present in a particular volume of gas and tells us what is the percentage that is present in a given sample once we are sure of the particular uh, gas being uh, gas purity being uh, attained this gas is uh, channeled to a high pressure uh, compressor this high pressure compressors fill the gas to the cascades these cascades are typically built to withstand high pressures of uh, gas typically the gas is filled to a pressure of about uh, 200 bar uh, initially and in the subsequent months of the plant operation the allowed pressure is up to 250 bar on the slurry side what is happening the slurry that overflows from the biogas digester goes through a sludge tank and this contains both solid and liquid particles this solid particles are to be separated through what is called as a solid liquid separator it is typically a screw press uh, mechanism that separates out the solids and liquid the solid falls down on the uh, defined surface as manure and the liquid moves to a liquid digestate tank this 